As you know, Gutenberg Blocks is getting more and more popular, but what if you have purchased Divi? What to do next? So in this video, I wanna show you how you can use both Gutenberg Blocks and Divi at the same time on the same website. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I've already gone ahead and installed Spectra. Now this is a library of Gutenberg blocks which are much better developed and which work really, really well. So let's start off by creating a brand new page. But before I do that, you can see here, I've already gone ahead and installed Spectra. It's just a plugin, it's free. Go ahead and download it by coming over here to uh, plugins and then click on add new and you can install it that way. And I also have Divi running, by the way. So both of these are already running on my website. All right, so let's create a brand new page. I'm gonna come over here and then click on add new. So let's call this my test page. All right, so you can see here straight away, it says use Divi Builder. So what we're gonna do is we are going to choose the default editor because if we go into the Divi Builder, it won't give us the option to use the Gutenberg blocks. So let's go ahead and choose default editor. Now, we can start adding all our blocks by coming over here to insert. So let's start off with a container. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And I can choose these two equal columns like that. So in here, we are going to add a block and this is going to be a normal Spectra block. So let me search for Spectra. In fact, let me just browse all so I can see all of them right here. So for this one here, let's add, let's say a countdown. So there we go, we have our count done right there. If I need to go ahead and customize it, I can always go ahead and customize it, but we're not gonna spend too much time doing that. Now, let me show you what I can uh, what I can also do over here on the right. So for this one here, I wanna add a new uh, section. So I'm gonna come over here. So let's just close out of here for now. So we want to add it over here. So let's click on this plus button. And this time I'm gonna search for Divi and then select it. So what you find now is we have an option to create a new Divi layout or we can load from library. But for this, I'm gonna say build new layout. Now, the only reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes there may be a specific block that you may want to use inside your Gutenberg design. So let's click on build a new layout. So this now is going to allow us to build a brand new layout. And the experience we're going to get right now is the experience that we would get if you're using Divi anyway. Now look at this, we have build from scratch, we have choose pre-made layout and clone existing page. So for this example, I'm gonna build from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And uh, I'm gonna choose my, my columns here. I'm gonna go with three. And in here, I'm gonna add a blurb. So I'm gonna search for it and add it. So as you can see right now, it's see, it feels very, very familiar because uh, because those of you that have used Divi, you can see that this is pretty much uh, very straightforward. So let's go ahead now and add our image in here. I'm gonna click on this area and choose my image. So let's say that's the image I need to add. I'm gonna say upload image. And now my image has been added. I can also go into my design tab here. Now over here, I can go into my text. I can align things and I can also come back over here, go in here and maybe perhaps remove a bit of text because this is a bit too much. So as you can see, as I'm going through all this, it is very, very, very straightforward to use. Very, very easy. So the other thing that I also want to mention here is we also have generate content with AI. So that means inside this Gutenberg layout, we can still use the uh, AI, the DV AI, which is really, really good. So let's go ahead now and save this. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna duplicate this a few times like that. And then I'm just gonna drag it over like that, drag the other one right there in the middle. So let's say this is our layout. So once we are done with this, what we can do now is save it and then close out of this. So I'm just gonna drag myself out of the way like that. And now we notice that this now has loaded inside our design. So let's continue on and let's say I wanna add something else to my design right here. I can always click here on this plus button. And this time let's add something else. So let's say I wanna add FAQs, go ahead and select that. And now I have my FAQs. So if I wanna further customize my FAQs, I have the, the option here to come in here, collapse other items. I can choose grid and go in here. And you can see now this is now a grid. So you can basically go in and style this. Now, the reason why I like the way this looks is it looks like 
a page builder because if you notice that when you use Divi, we have the, uh, the three tabs. We have the advanced tab, we have the content tab, and we also have the design tab, which is pretty familiar. So here we can go in and further customize this by adding all our colors. I can add my icons and so on. But as you can see, the most important thing here is we are able to go in and create a layout of our page using Gutenberg blocks and also Divi. You can actually use pretty much any type of uh, module inside our layout. So the advantage to this is there are, many ca there are cases where perhaps maybe the Gutenberg blocks does not give you that um, polished look that you may be looking for and it's, pro it's perhaps maybe one or two things from the DV modules that you want to use in your layout. This is how you can do it. Anyway, guys, did you know that you could actually do this? If so, please let me know in the comments box below. And for those of you that didn't know, is this how you're going to be using Divi moving forward if you decided to use, uh, say, Gutenberg Blogs? All right, guys, I also have a link to Spectra in the video description below. So, so go ahead and check it out. Thank you, guys. Until next time, see you in the next one. Take care.